two versions of this video one for tying a globe knot around your left hand if you're right handed and one for tying a globe knot around your right hand if you're left handed this video is for anyone who is left handed wanted to tie the knot around the right hand Luc Prouveur originally described this knot pictorially in issue 82 of Knotting Matters the quarterly publication of the International Guild of Knot Tires and he entitled it an 18-sided monkey's fist. I'm particularly grateful to Jeff Wyatt of the International Guild of Knot Tires who once showed me how easily this knot can be tied around the hand. I reckon Jeff can probably do this with his eyes shut. It was Jeff who inspired me to learn how to do it. In this video I'm using 4mm colour line cord to cover a widget from a Guinness can. You'll need to experiment with cord size and ball size to see what works for you. I've measured 2.5 metres of cord, I'll fold it in half and start tying from the middle of the cord. Take the cord and wrap it around three fingers. The first time you cross the working end, cross over. The second time, go under. The third time, cross over again. Go around one more time and now you're ready to start weaving. Follow the original line or route, but the crossings will be the opposite this time. The original went under, over, under. This time we need to go over, under, over. And then place your working end between the first and second fingers. Turn your hand over and now comes a slightly fiddly bit especially if you've been tying very tightly around your fingers. Take the third strand down and cross it over the second. Take the fourth strand down and go under the cord now above it. Take the top cord go over the strand now below it and then under the one below that. Watch the video closely and see what you should finish up with. The last crossing was an over, so we now need to start with an under, followed by over, under, over. Make sure that you don't lose the structure that you just made when you manipulated the cord on the back of your hand. Bring the cord round between th third and little finger and now you're ready to start doubling the lead. 
simply follow the original lead around and because the structure of the knot is complete you should be able to check that you alternate between overs and unders from now on when you run out of cord start doubling the half of the cord that hasn't been used yet After two passes, i.e. when you've doubled your cord, it's time to remove the knot from your hand. From this point on, let's remember that this is a globe knot, so start manipulating it so that it starts resembling a globe. In my case, I'll drop the widget into the centre and start thinking about tightening it all up and making a third pass. I've said this before and I'll keep on saying it. Don't rush. Tightening this knot up takes time and you need to do it gradually always endeavouring to keep the globe shape. You'll need several tightening passes but your patience will pay off. Finally, what to do with the ends? Well, you could simply cut off the excess cord and finish up simply with a globe. You could thread one end through part of the knot to leave a loop for a key fob. There are numerous things you might do with the ends, but here's what I often do. Tie what looks like a small hangman's knot to create a loop for a key fob. As always, thanks ever so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.